Ask Reddit by Namus now take. What example of someone that is academically smart but stupid in your life? I had a friend in college. He went to a neighboring high school, so I knew of him previously, but I didn't meet him until my freshman year. He was insanely intelligent. He independently studied for and took every AP exam offered in my state, and passed most of them. He had enough credits from AP courses to qualify as a first year junior in college. The dude could understand almost any topic quite well after a few days of study. Then he decided that he would drop out and work at a Google data center, which he successfully did. He did quite well and was even able to get a few people hired there on his word alone. And then he decided to make extra money by growing and selling pot on the side. He got caught with felony amounts that he was offered a misdemeanor for to avoid any jail time. Instead, he thought it was a great idea to fight the charges altogether while representing himself legally. Ended up going to jail for a while, got fired from Google, went completely broke, and moved back to his childhood trailer to live with his mom. A man who chooses to represent himself in court has a fool for a client. My mom's friend's husband is a chemist that graduated from U of T smart guy obviously, but socially stupid. Thinks everyone without an advanced degree should be making minimum wage, said that to my dad, whose work doesn't require an advanced degree. There was also the time I was telling jokes with my friend as we were carrying boxes helping him move, and he said if we were just going to chat we might as well go home, I was literally carrying boxes as he said it. Buddy, I'm doing this for free, if you don't want my help I'm more than happy to stop carrying boxes. Sounds less like an idiot and more like a dick with an inflated sense of self-importance. I have a friend who's a chemical engineer that spends tens of thousands of dollars on healing rocks. They work, they really really do. The guy who sold them feels much better now. Colon. This is going back many many years, but when I used to live with my ex fiancé, who had a master's degree from NYW, she took a chicken breast out of the freezer to thaw and placed it directly on the shelf of the refrigerator. When it thawed out, the chicken blood juice dripped down onto everything below it. So I pointed this out to her, and said if you're going to thaw chicken out, you need to put it on something so it doesn't drip all over the place so the next time she did it, she set the chicken breast on top of a cup of yogurt, so that when it thawed out it just dripped off of the side of the cup of yogurt and onto everything below it. My most recent ex was a PhD physicist and the amount of times I had to explain or fix something was pretty astounding. I mostly work with PhDs and to be honest with you. I learned a long time ago that having a PhD really doesn't mean that you're smarter. It just means that you're able to do something for an extra 4 years. I have a PhD. Can confirm. The last person I dated. They are about to finish a masters but can't figure out that googly eyes on a washing machine is funny. Sounds like my ex too. One time I put googly eyes on the back of a project that involved a couple different servo motors, so that whenever my code was wrong and the motors freaked out I at least had something to laugh at. He told me that it wasn't funny and I wasn't taking school seriously. Sorry bro I just spent hours getting this stupid thing to work I just wanna have a little bit of fun with it. I once had to endure 2 hours in a car with a very talented engineer, like save the corporation thousands of dollars by fixing broken equipment himself talented. But throughout the drive I had to listen to him preach about how history is a hoax, Napoleon and 1812 fought aliens and not Russians and that every woman who tries smoking or drinking once in her life instantly becomes an addict. Dart. I kind of want to know more about Napoleon vs. Aliens in 1812. Does my wife count for your post? She speaks 5 languages fluently, also another 3 but not fluent, can put together a PC blindfolded and troubleshoot every issue note a man mastered music theory and graduated from a specialized music school that classically trained her in three instruments. But she has next to no common sense and absolutely zero street smuts. But I think that's why we get on so well because academically I'm as gifted as a drunk hamster, 
but I'm overflowing an abundance of street smart and common sense, so we complement each other's weaknesses. Also because it sounds like you to appreciate the other. Me. Yep, this was going to be my comment. XGF had her masters in chemistry. We went on vacation to DC and we were checking out a list of museums. The Holocaust Museum what's that about? UHH the Holocaust. Oh isn't that that thing where all those Jews died? She was really smart but so unbelievably naive it hurt. I mean, she is not wrong, isn't she? They laugh at jokes about quantum physics before the punchline is even delivered. Does the punchline change every time you tell it? In middle school during physics day the genius girl who ultimately became high school valedictorian and went to Harvard made a rocket that was by far the best one. She also didn't wear any sunscreen that day and got the worst sunburn I've ever seen. My stepdad. Nuclear physicist, can't operate an iPhone. Constantly needs help with basic technology. Keeps buying crappy laptops and loading them with garbage software then being mystified why they don't work. Can't operate the touchscreen in his new car, is just annoyed by it. Our physics professor once had held a remote lecture without turning his Google Meet on. So he just spoke to the computer for 1.5 hours. Myself. My test scores and grades were fantastic. But I said screw college and had a kid at 20. Real life stupid. It's never too late. I got thrown out twice and finished my degree a month before I turned 40. Me but the other way around. No wait actually I'm stupid in both cases. You made me smile. Thank you. My dad. He's an industrial HVAC project manager. No idea what that is. Only know he's worked industrial HVAC my entire life. However, he's the cheapest man alive and looks at me like I'm from Andromeda when I explain going to three different grocery stores because one of them has cans of pie filling cheaper than the first one. Then the third one has generic soda cheaper than the other two is actually more expensive because you're wasting gas driving all around town to save like 25 cents per thing you want. Mom was like that. She'd drive 10 miles to save 2 cents on baked beans. Worked around many of these types of people. Proof that education and intelligence do not go hand in hand. Worked at a court where a judge nearly got shot by armed police because he thought he shouldn't have to wait. Drove up to the pavement, heard the police scream and proceeded to shit his pants. Easy to judge but difficult to understand. Maybe because they are sheltered. Naive to be out there in the woods. But in a family crisis that forced them to just study. In a box in their comfort zone. Scared of the people out there so they settled in that one expertise in their life. But yeah, I'm just seeing myself in their shoes. I work with a lot of very smart engineers who have very poor life adult social skills. In my career and hobbies I'm surrounded by a lot of really smart people, and an astounding number of them have the emotional intelligence of a teenager. My stepdad is a doctor, has two PhDs and MD. Honestly he's probably the smartest person I know. Thing is, he's such a damn robot that he is constantly pissing people off. When something causes an error in his internal operating system, the whole world knows about it. I have to keep my distance because his operating errors come across as being an irrational angry man. My mom just dismisses it as well that's who he is. I gave birth to one of them. This kid is smarter than me in school, but there's a good chance he'll be living with me for the rest of his days. These all were uttered in the last week. Do you think when you drink water to wash down food, they race to see who gets there first? If tomatoes are really a fruit is watermelon a vegetable? If we filled the hot tub with mac and cheese, how long would have to eat it before it went bad? He's not 5. He'll be 13 soon. 
I'm 26 and would very much like to know the answer to TME mac and cheese question. For science. Watched a murder documentary today and the killer had some double degree in math and accounting, but decided to kill her mother and sister for money. Stupid decisions. Person had double doctorates. One in chemistry and another in biology. No social skills. Think Sheldon Cooper to the third power. Stephen Hawking on the island.